Hello, Libra. Welcome to your weekly reading for September 22nd to the 30th. This is for Libra, Libra Rising, and Libra Moon. And before we jump into it, Libra, happy birthday. We have come to your birthday season. I am very excited for you. You've been going through it, so I'm really happy for you. There's going to be so many great things that's happening. I This is all about you. You know the next four weeks is all about you. So let's get started. The uh, You see that we kick off this week, Sunday, September 22nd. Uh, we're moving into Libra season and the equinox. So happy fall, happy spring in the Southern Hemisphere. You see all the blue asterisks for the best aspects of the week. But it, 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 this is good. You see that Sunday's loaded. So we're kicking off the week like we're hitting the ground running. I mean, there's going to be a big shift from the get go. And with the fact that we are in your season, you know, there's a big, a big emphasis on relationships. Now, remember, you still have your uh, the North Node in Aries in your seventh house partnerships, relationships, one on one commitments, South Node in your sign. So there really is heavy emphasis on relationships for y'all. It can be career, it can be work, it can be uh, home, family, romance, whatever it is, whatever resonates with you. There may be some adjusting around this time, the way maybe the way that you see relationships and partnerships, maybe you're seeking a business partner, maybe there's something there, maybe there's something with love and romance. Uh, just know that there's going to be some changes around this time you're thinking about that don't forget you've got that eclipse in your sign coming up next week okay it's going to be big it's a solar eclipse new beginnings new things that are happening for you um but i want you to know that with the fact that the south node is in libra you may be asking a lot of questions as in like what am i ready to leave behind what has kept me in balance what has kept me off balance what has tipped the scale right libra you being the scale all about balance harmony, seeking that harmony. What do I need to do for balance or even rebalance, right? Even rebalance. Now, this week may feel, uh, you know, the equinox is happening right between the eclipses. So it may be a really, you know, energized week for you. Um, you definitely can be weighing some options here. Okay, maybe even some decisions. Mercury, as you can see, is going to be moving into your sign as well. We'll talk about that in a second. But that may it might bring that sense of clarity in terms of harmony, a sense of justice that you're seeking for yourself for circumstances that you're in smoothing things out. Okay, so think about like, just, you know, when you're making a bed, just smoothing out those wrinkles, aiming for symmetry and that's internally to mind body spirit so keep that in mind uh definitely communicate this would be a time to uh communicate as 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 much as you can with with mercury moving into your sign now on sunday you see that venus is in square pluto as well very interesting there could be something here uh with money okay love or money uh maybe some intense feelings come up there could be something regarding home as well remember pluto has moved back into capricorn that does rule your fourth house of home significant other family children real estate the foundations of your life so keep that in mind and then you also see venus moves into scorpio <laughs> lots happening i mean there's so much happening here um venus and scorpio as i mentioned in your monthly forecast it's pretty edgy. It's pretty spicy. All right. It's a little bit intense. It reminds me of if you ever saw that movie Twilight or one of the Twilights, there was a scene. This was so long ago. So I don't remember which movie it was, but the scene where Kristen Stewart uh, cut her finger on an envelope. Do you remember that when that happened? It was like some house party or whatever. And then all those really hot really sexy like vampires like just came up there like ah so uh that's venus and scorpio all right it's i want it i love it i'm gonna have it all right venus and scorpio is brings that element of seduction and passion even jealousy all right we're talking venus and scorpio so it, it a lot of those low frequency energies secrets is huge remember uh scorpio is it rules the eighth house it's you know pluto ruled them so anyway what i try to say is like things come to the surface things come to the surface we're talking telenova style there may be some things here but what's really interesting is that venus and scorpio is in your second house and so for you libra it just may be that you really really love your gucci bag and you're not gonna let anyone have it you're gonna go out there and shop i mean this is the second house 
which is possessions. It's um, material possessions. It's things that you value, or maybe not even a Gucci. It could be like I don't know, a tote bag from I don't know Whole Foods. Whatever it is, there's something here in your physical world. You could just be really, uh, and even shopping. Remember, Venus rules shopping as well. And you know, Venus is in score. It's just. It just it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild time for you you may be shopping a lot so i don't i want you to just keep that in mind um not to like overspend or or whatnot but if a second house is also income and salary so you could really be into money right now <laughs> really really be into money because remember venus is also money and she's in your second house venus natively rules the second like with Taurus remember that okay so uh really money could be a big thing here salary income but material possessions luxury beauty spa all of those things like you're you really intensely like I got it I love this uh so just and investments okay could be a thing um the other thing is maybe even creativity for y'all there could be something that you're just intensely focused on in a creative way something that really sparks things like you definitely want to be the next you know yo-yo ma whatever it is I don't know Confucius you, uh uh fellow Libra right Ralph Lauren Oscar Wilde, any of those ring a bell? They're all Libras, all right? They're all Libras. So uh, just remember, Mars is in Cancer, all right? I've talked about this in your monthly forecast. There is that. So this is... so. Mars and Cancer, Cancer is a crab with the pinchers, all right? Venus is in Scorpio, Scorpio is a scorpion with the stinger. So emotions can be really heightened around this time. Mars and Cancer is in your 10th house, so something with career. You could feel really sensitive in terms of career, but you could also feel very driven, like emotionally driven. It's all about your emotional growth here. So just remember, with all these emotions heightened, for the collective as well. It's not just, remember, everywhere, but it's just a different areas of, of, of the signs. Um, stay frosty. Be cool. You know I say that all the time. Use your emotions uh, for actions that are going to raise your frequency. Okay, Libra Nation? We, we, we we're good. All right. So uh, you also see this week pretty much belongs to Mercury. All right. Mercury is owning this week. Mercury, Hermes, Olympic god, Definitely has a megaphone this week. Okay. Communicate. Mercury is the planet of communication, commerce, intellect, thinking. Uh, just uh, keep that in mind. Learning new things, even short distance travel could be a big matter for you uh, or something that you're th th thinking about, maybe interested in. Uh, but to be honest, it really is. I mean, Mercury's moving into your sign. All right. So you're just going to see things in a way that is. It makes sense for you and you're going to want to think about things that make sense for you it's almost like looking through a lens like a libra lens right so libra lens in terms of peace justice harmony diplomacy all of those key things that come up with libra um but this is definitely all about you this is this is great so use this okay tuesday september 24th mercury will trine uranus I love this for you. I mean, speaking of money, there could be some financial matter here that you have this huge breakthrough. All right. Because remember, Uranus is in Taurus in your eighth house. And so that is the shared resources, joint uh, uh, bank accounts, inheritance investments, bonuses, commissions, royalties of the kind, loans, debts, paying off debts. Uh, but definitely you may feel like uh, you could get I'd expect the news around this time. And it could be love. Sure. It could be love. It's also possibly you having this, you know, breakthrough, this mental breakthrough. Like, I get this. Like, oh, yes. Like, you know, like newsy style. You start doing like a dance because you really like you something clicks right now on September 25th. It's not on the whiteboard, but you have Mercury opposite Neptune. OK, so keep that in mind. You know, Mercury is the trickster. And this is when we see that side of him when Mercury is opposing Neptune, which is, you know, at this level can bring that illusion, delusion, confusion. And I talked about this in your monthly forecast. You know, it can be a little bit of a fog around this time. So just cut through that fog. And like I said in your monthly forecast, sometimes you need that fog to know your truth. Now, on the same day, Mercury will try and Pluto. We're still on September 25th. This is really big. This is really big. I wouldn't be surprised if you have some 
mm, important conversation regarding home. Home, real estate, family, like remember the foundations of your life because Pluto has moved back into Capricorn for two months until November, I think it's 19th. I'll double check that. <laughs> you know I will. Uh, or we'll talk about it when we get to November. But either way, I just think two months from, okay? So there's this clarity here. There's clarity here. There could even be secrets being revealed around this time. There could be, uh, but more in the sense of, yes, maybe you're saying something. Maybe you're telling a secret. Maybe it's something to get something off your chest. Maybe it's something that you're revealing because it brings you the relief. Uh, but there is also a sense of you learning more about you around this time as well. Negotiating skills really strong this day. So just keep that in mind. Now, Sunday, <laughs> the 20th, September 29th. Oh yeah, Mars trying Saturn. Oh, this is amazing. Um, definitely going to be uh, something big with work. I would not be surprised if some of y'all are changing jobs, careers, titles, um, something that has to do with work that you may be really excited for or have been waiting for. Mars trying Saturn. I mean, you literally have the two malefic planets here, okay? D doing something special for you, something nice for you. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Trines, remember, very auspicious. So this is you having this, uh, like, this full tank, okay? You have this full Full tank. You're ready to go. You're ready to rock and roll. You're ready to uh, take on the universe. That's that's what this is. So take action. Mars always, you know, wants you to take action. And the reason why I say a lot of career and work matters is because when you see what's happening, remember what I said. Mars is in Cancer. Your tenth house of career, fame, public recognition, honors, achievements, and then you've got Saturn and Pisces in your sixth house of work. In terms of like your responsibilities, your duties to work, colleagues, hiring employees, things like that, things like that. Um, so you're, you're, this is going to be a very special day for you. Okay. I know it's a Sunday, but this is a strong trine. You may feel it the day after day, but it's take advantage of it. Okay. Put, put the wheels in motion. Um, Saturn brings that. Remember, Saturn is Kronos. Okay, so time brings that long-term energy, that in it for the long haul energy. Really great. All right, uh, and you can feel emotionally driven around this time. Uh, and then, uh, where am I? Third, Sun uh, Monday, the thirtieth, September thirtieth. Uh, we have a Sun conjunct Mercury. So we have a Mercury Kazemi in your sign. We have a lot of Mercury. We, well, I wouldn't say a lot. We have a couple of Mercury Kazemis throughout the year. This is the when Mercury is in the heart of the Sun. So talk about alignment i mean that is major alignment here so there's this refresh happening this reset button being pressed and especially with clarity if you have been seeking clarity if there has been justice or fairness or that balance that you've been seeking this is the day it could come this is a day where everything could come together this is happening in your sign libra let's take advantage take advantage okay so uh yeah let's let's see what's going on for you libra again happy birthday i'm very excited for you i'm very excited to see uh what's uh, how like you've got that eclipse in your sign i mean this is big that remember that's coming next week okay new moon solar eclipse but anyway let's see what's going on for you for this week all right it's still a very big week uh happy birthday again let's see what's going on libra libra rising and libra moon So, Libra, I do a traditional cult across spread. It offers the best overview, especially for a weekly we uh, reading. And if we need to pull clarifiers, you know that we will. Secondly, Libra, I uh, want to thank you for being patient with me and for, you know, all your kind messages. I am still recovering. I am almost there. I'm almost there, but uh, I'm definitely a lot better than I was when I did that live stream. Anyway, um, okay, so let's see what's going on. Oh, Libra. All right. All right. This is going to be a week. This is going to be a week. You always get the most inch. Like, like what? Uh, so if you remember last week's reading, you had the sun in your challenge area. Okay, so let's see what's going on. You've got the Ten of Wands here. Um, I actually like it. Okay, so uh, there is, you know, the Ten of Wands is... It's almost like the sense of overworking, overdoing it, like really stretched to the limits. But there's 10 is the end of the cycle, right? So 10 of wands, 
there is one zero equals one. There's something here that's coming to completion. I want you to be able to allow it to come to completion. All right. It just seems like that there is something that is feels like this boulder on your shoulder for me. And I want you to get in a place where you're going to let it go. It seems like you will. I, that's the great news here. But just recognize it. I know I dropped these readings a little bit earlier than the actual week, a few days earlier. So if there's anything that even if you feel like you're distracting yourself from something that you need to really pay attention to, this is the time. OK, remember, be your authentic self. Just you're it's it, listen it's emotional like we've got mars and cancer saturn and pisces i mean that's a lot now you got venus and scorpio three water signs very emotional week so just have that time to be in touch with your emotions um but there is something that it just seems like you've been in it to win it but like really ooh, I just like there is a heaviness that i'm feeling so let's release it okay remember that balance you're all about that balance now you have the emperor and the hardier spread. Um, I, I, there you go. That's amazing. Okay. Come. Yeah. Come into your power. Come into your power. Use it. Feel it. Use it. Moving forward. Be the author of your own story. Right. The emperor. All about mastery of self. So in a sense, you know, like I said, I do like the ten of wands here, even though it does have that heavy feeling. I feel like you're going to let let things go um especially because the south node is in your sign there is even a part of you you're just like i i'm i'm i don't want to do this anymore i don't want to be this way anymore like i it's all about that growth that i talked about with mars and cancer that emotional growth as well but even still i love this emperor in in the hard air spread um it does seem like there is i'm gonna pull some clarifiers through but it does seem like there is a sense of now I feel empowered. Now that I'm in my birthday season, I've made it. I made it here. I'm going to take full advantage of it. And you should absolutely make it all about you. Make it all about you. This is this is big, okay? Um, you know, the emperor is also like he lays down the laws, right? He's the emperor. And he is the type of person that even though he does have like he's like the emperor, right? But he he's 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 cool with people around him his loved ones you can even see the armor hidden underneath his robe right his robe that's red passion and power the armor he's he'll he would take a bullet for his family like this is someone who is just just so powerful and so strong and so confident but also like takes care okay again he he rules his the 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 city um and he's got the world in his hand so i love this like you are coming into your power now you do have the sun in the heart or your challenge area again again what so now at this point seeing it in your challenge area twice in a row do i i really do want you to do that shadow work okay i really want you to explore why is there something like right especially remember coming after the ten of once i gotta let light in i gotta let light in and where like, what are some parts of some things that may have happened in the past? If you have been distracting yourself from it, can we put a flashlight to it? Scooby-Doo style. See what's going on there. Like, we're talking about Pluto moving to Scorpio in your second house of self-worth, self-value. You got the center of your challenge area again. So really shine light into an area of your life that you may realize, like, okay, I really, yeah, let me, let me just check this out. Let me see what's going on here. Because you will feel so good about it when you let it, like, okay? Um and then you've got the King of Swords. So it's, you know, I, I'm not surprised that you have the King of Swords in your crown. Okay. King of Swords, all about intellect. This is someone who is like literally a member of Mensa. <laughs> Could be, right? Very smart, very intelligent, very like quick to take action, very cerebral in your crown. Remember, you've got Mercury moving into your sign. All right. So that's going to be something that works in your favor. Um, the King of Swords is also, you know, remember, swords are the mental suit, by the way. So communication, logic, thinking, intellect, processing things. But yeah, you're you're definitely going to be like, ooh, yeah, quick witted, maybe even like five steps ahead in a conversation, like five, you know, word bubbles ahead like you are going to be like in the zone ace of wands and the rudier spread seems like 
you're on the brink of something new. Uh, some of y'all may have already felt it, but it does seem like there's something that you're seeking, and that's why you have the Emperor and the King of Swords here, where you're just like, nothing's going to stop me now. Like, I, this is my time. This is my time. So shine, okay? Let it be your time to shine. Remember, you've got that sun. Just let that sunlight in, all right? And when I say, like, let it in, again, the 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 shadows all right let it just cast all that light in the shadows um in your life where you're just like this is just taking up too much space whether it's in my head whether it's in my heart it's taking up too much space all right now you've got the four of swords in your future so i like this all right because it is saying that hey i'm gonna take that time out i'm gonna take that time out i'm going to really take this moment to meditate have stillness of mind this is all about equilibrium uh, which did I mention in your last? Re I did. I didn't. I the word equilibrium, equal, equa, librium, lira. It comes from you. Balance. All right. So up here, especially because it's the swords, take that time. Take that time. It seems like you will. And you know this is a Libra card. Uh, chakras. Aligning the chakras. Even remember I said mind, body, spirit. It's inside as well. You can even see the three swords here. One pointing to his heart chakra, crown chakra, throat chakra. I mean, do it. Have that. You're gonna be. You're gonna be. You. You. You got this. You got this. You got a lot of power too. Um. Okay. Let's let let's see what's going on with your stuff. That's. I'm. I'm curious. Libra Nation. Come on. Come on. Y'all are amazing. Thanks so much for being here. If you like this reading, by the way, it'd be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. Tell me what's going on. What what's going on? Tell me. Talk to me. What's his uh who's your favorite Libra? And you know I love y'all, Libra. <laughs> y'all are raising. Again, thank you so much for being patient with me while I la, 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 la. All right, let's get going. Let's oh shh. Okay. All right. You wanna play that? We'll play this game. You're good. You're really, really good. Things are changing. Uh again. <sighs> Wow. Let, okay, let's get started. You got the tower, all right? Um, I would definitely... Remember what I said last week. You've got to... The, if, if you've got any bridges, if you've got any walls... Bridges. If you've got any walls up, you got the, you got to break them down now, okay? There, it's time to break them down. Um, and again, like I said, it can be up here. It can be in your heart. There's something here where you just it's going to help you okay when when you connect all right it's going to be you're going to be able to connect a little bit closer with your intuition with your higher self with your authentic self it's going to be really great the tower showing up it's very interesting for me all right i'm like it's good it's very interesting for me it just seems like there is a sense of like the change that you want could be really drip like i want like this has to happen now Again, you got the King of Swords, the Emperor. Take that time out to do any releasing you need to do to just still the mind. So, you know, when you do have this full tank of gas, you're not, you know, wasting in like a, a drip of it. Okay. And a lot of that is going to be when, when you have that peace of mind. But they're very interesting with the tower. It seems like that some of y'all may be feeling that too. Like, what is going on? Like, what, what, what's going on? And that's why sometimes, like, remember I said he's bulletproof here. Sometimes, like, that can work in a way where it's, like, you're not letting anyone in, in, in a sense. So just uh, communicate. Be your authentic self. Let that sh sunlight in. The Page of Cups here, uh, really nice. You know, the pages are the messengers in your external factors area. Some of y'all could be receiving great messages. I mean, Mercury is in your sign. And so that favors you. Mer and Page of Cups, by the way, cups are emotions and feelings and love and relationships. So yeah, it could be new love if you're seeking that. I wouldn't be surprised you've got North Node in your uh, Aries. So uh, yeah, uh, or I'm sorry, Aries in your North Node. Like this is, it's it's kind of a significant matter. You got Pluto retrograding Capricorn, so it could have to do with a significant other, but you still have a lot of work stuff that's happening with y'all. So it could be something work related, but just stay, there's something coming through that is really, really nice. Really great with that page of cups. He's he's following his bliss and he wants to bring that to you. Okay. Now you got the king of wands as well. So you got these two kings here. And you know, the difference between these kings, wands, your passions, ambitions, work related energy. He is the entrepreneur. Uh King of Swords is more like Stephen Hawking. Like, you know, like just so like 
on it right brilliant ideas um so it's really just like kind of like merging those two at this point you've it's it's like this level of power with these two kings the emperor you have the ace of wands even the page of cups like page of cups listen sure young right really really young but he's still in the royal court okay so holds a lot of power um and then the tower as well so yeah very interesting um it just seems like a lot of y'all want a little bit more visibility when it comes to uh, you know work matters you know king of wands is more entrepreneurial um so yeah there could be something there that is something with work and career but it's still just at the end of the day your passions and the transformation that you're seeking to get there all right to sit in this throne and lastly you will have it i mean you do have the wheel of fortune in your final outcome so oh that's big that's big all right so you're gonna be fine you're gonna be really great take that time that you need to take time let that sunlight in wheel of fortune um there's some new path opening up for you uh well it's very very possible remember you got to you got to really, really connect within uh, with a fortune highly associated with not only like fate, like something fated is going to happen in your favor, but also um, it, in that to how that you need that trust, by the way, trusting in yourself, trusting in the universe, trusting things are going to, uh, you know, work out in your favor. The other thing I was going to say is Wheel of Fortune is attributed to the planet Jupiter, the planet of good luck and, and fortune, prospect. Like it's like you're... It's amazing. Okay. Expansion. This is really nice. Um, I'm going to clarify that tower. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. So, yeah. Can you just you, it, go within, break down those walls? Um, if you feel like there's like a lot of like, oh, what's going on? Like that kind of energy, connect and have the conversations you need to have and, and and really be in touch with yourself. Now, the other thing that this is actually showing, because you, so you see you got the Ten of Cups. Other thing is that's showing me is that a lot of y'all want this. You want the Tower moment, and I need to remind you, the Tower, it, it doesn't happen to you. It happens for you. That's what the Tower does, okay? Remember what I said, those walls need to come down. There's some walls that need to come down. You see the lightning striking the crown, off the tower, the crown represents ego. Okay. Now I'm not saying any of y'all got an ego or not. I mean, you're Libra Nation. Y'all are balanced. Y'all are friendly, social. Y'all are amazing. Um, but this is just saying that it seems like a lot of y'all want this tower moment. It's almost like mm, a rising. Is it what Phoenix? Phoenix rising from the ashes energy. Uh, it seems like you want, like, think, it's just like burn it down, build it up. Okay. That's going to bring all this joy, this happiness. Um, but you've got to do it, okay? You've got to do it. Some of y'all could see that if something does happen, um, you may actually see it as favorably. You may be actually so in tune with yourself and at such high frequency, you get it. You're like, okay, this thing happened. At first, I saw it as like this, you know, crazy wild thing, but now I realize it was the best thing for me, okay? Uh, but again, some of y'all are possibly having that moment where you just want it you want it some things you're just like to let's start anew here but i love this ten of cups joy this is the classic right joy this is happy everything happy family happy children happy couple happy land happy everything all right emotional fulfillment a lot of enlightenment here okay so it's it's really when these towers come down, it's easier for that sun to, the sun to come through. All right. Um, otherwise, you're good. <laughs> Y'all are amazing. Uh, Libra, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this reading, it'd be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. I know I'm like losing my voice at this point. Um, but hey, big things to come. Wheel of Fortune, Page of Cups. Just take that time out right there. Okay. But you are definitely in your power. Next week, we, yes, we will, we're moving, October, we're there, okay? And as you know, we have an eclipse in your sign. So changes are happening anyway, okay? Changes are happening anyway. Um, mm, interesting. Can I show you one last thing, Libra Nation? You, you, want, you want me to show you one last thing? Um, the tower is attributed to Mars, all right? Uh, Ten of Cups is attributed to Pisces, 
And so remember what I said from the very beginning. You got Mars and Cancer in your 10th house of career, Pisces ruling your 6th house of work. So there could be something here with work, all right? Something maybe work, something with work getting, is getting in the way in terms of like relationships, dating, family, uh, children, things like that, or just some like sort of emotional fulfillment. Or there could be just something with work there, but because remember, you got the eights and ones. Anyway, you're going to be fine though. New paths opening up for you. Uh, maybe even getting a message, but take that downtime. Take that downtime. Libra, y'all are amazing. Uh, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. Uh, and well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll uh, see you next week. All right. Thanks so much, Libra. All right. Bye bye.